Ready to get started with PlumSale Help Desk? Click on the Download button from the Product page and select Help Desk for Office 365. When you run the file, it will set up the Help Desk installation wizard on your desktop. The wizard will help you install a Help Desk site on your SharePoint online tenant. If you wish to have separate Help Desk systems, for example, one for your customers and one for your internal use, you can use the wizard to install as many Help Desk sites as you want. Please enter your SharePoint online tenant address and the global admin credentials, or ask your SharePoint admin to run the wizard. Enter the name for your Help Desk site. Also, choose the site language and privacy settings that will regulate the access to your site. Please note that the Help Desk site language can't be changed after the installation. Before you proceed with running your Help Desk, there are a few things you may want to configure. First, we'll set up an email forwarding. Navigate to the Settings page and click on the Email button. The email address you see is the internal Help Desk email that is used to process email messages to tickets. If you wish to use your corporate mailbox, please configure email forwarding from your mailbox to this address. You will find a link to the instructions on how to set up email forwarding for some of the most popular platforms here. For more details on email configuration, watch the next video on setting up the support channels. On the settings page, you only need to enter your email address as reply to address. When your customers receive the email from the ticketing system, they will reply to your own mailbox. Also, you can specify any display name for the emails sent from Helpdesk. Now, We'll create the agents to process the tickets and interact with your customers. Navigate to Contacts and click on New. Overall, the Help Desk has three roles for the contacts. The end users are created automatically when a user submits a ticket for the first time. Those are the users outside your SharePoint tenant. The members are your SharePoint users. They will have access to a Help Desk web widget that will put on a SharePoint site accessible to everyone within your organization. We'll set up one of those in a separate video. And of course, agents reply to tickets. Let's fill out the contact form to create one. By default, all the agents will receive a notification about the new ticket and will be able to assign it for themselves. You can also configure an automatic ticket assignment if they want with the help of Help Desk triggers. We'll walk through those in a separate video. You're ready to give your ticketing system a try. Let's drop an email message to it. You'll receive a notification about the ticket being submitted. Let your customers know that their message has reached its destination. Don't forget to log in using your Help Desk agent credentials. You'll see a new ticket on the home page. Click on the Unassigned button to view all the new tickets. Here it is. Pick up the ticket and click on the Assigned to Me button. The ticket will get attached to this agent and disappear from other agents' unassigned view. Open the ticket and click on Add Reply to get back to your customer. You can change the ticket priority, due date, and category.
When you save a ticket with your reply, your customer receives an email notification. When the issue is resolved, you can save the ticket as solved. The ticket will disappear from the My Tickets view on the homepage, but will remain in the system for future reference.